This is Coon Cassius for Eiffel TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. We're in Buckhurst Hill today with me. I've got soon to be IBF super middleweight champion of the world, James the Gal. First of all, you look very bronze and brown and tan. Right. <laughs> yeah? yeah? A couple people said that to me. I think he's strong. I don't know. I don't know why I look a bit tan. Yeah. Sunny, but now. Well, well, thank you. Trimming that, got a man fading that, isn't it? Um, right. So yesterday was quite a significant day in your destiny to become world champion. Um, there's a flip side to this. Obviously, the negative is that the home advantage side is now not possible. The positive side of it is that hopefully you will win a world title and earn a lot more money. Yeah. First of all, let's talk about the home advantage thing. You're obviously a little bit disappointed that. It's not at the O2 on April 25th. Of course, of course I am. Uh, I'd love to box for a world title in my home city and win it. But uh, in boxing, things happen that are out of your hand, and, and you and you can't help it. But listen, I'm 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 more than happy going to America, boxing for a world title. Something that I've always wanted to do is go is go to America and box in a big show. Uh, Plus, I'm getting paid. It's crazy. It's like it's like unbelievable. Uh, probably, if I if the if the fight would have been over here, probably wouldn't wouldn't have got paid as much. Uh, and yeah, I'm just happy with the whole deal. Like people keep on saying about home advantage and all that. Yeah, been fantastic to get home advantage. But I'm buzzing. Seriously, folks, I am buzzing. Like boxing for a world title in America against a good fighter. That's what I want. That's what I fire and all that. I'm looking forward to it because a lot of people think that I've got no chance. I've seen a couple of tweets, seen a couple of articles, and people think I've got no chance going over there, boxing such a good fight in his own backyard. But listen, I'm, I'm extremely confident. I know what I'm about. I know what I can do. Uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, leading up to this purse bid situation, it was unfortunate that a deal couldn't have been reached between sort of your camp and, and their camp to put this fight on, you know, without it going to purse bids. It did go to purse bids, but were you under the assumption that Matthew Median and Sky would would get it? Yeah, would get it. But they come up with a $3, three million dollar plus bid. But yeah, I got blown out of the water. Fucking hell, extra million. I'm not, listen, I'm not complaining, but uh, yeah, bloody he got blown out of the water. It's crazy. I personally thought that he was going to win it with the... 2.1, uh, I think we was offering him, I think the highest offer we offered him was $700,000, which is a is good, good money for him. He, I don't think he's he's worth too much over there as well. I'm not too sure te that Telly, Telly are dying for him to be shown their channel. Uh, so, yeah, so, it's, it's, man, I can't actually believe it. I'm still a bit shocked. Like, when Eddie Hearn rang me, actually my mum rang me, and went, Al Heyman's bid $3.1 million, and I went, Pardon? So straight away I'm thinking, bah, I've got to box in America. And then it all sinks in. Like, who gives a fuck? Getting paid, I'm boxing for a world title in America. I'm not underdog. Of course I am, right? Am I an underdog? Um, I don't know. I think if you was over here, I think yeah. it would be billed as a 50-50. Yeah. I think going out there, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, it's just, it would probably slight, a slight put you a Darrell in, well, yeah. slight put it in Darrell's favour. Yeah, so I'm a bit of an underdog, but I like that. Uh, my coach, Jim, keeps on going about... Uh, Oh, what's the rugger muffin man's name? Uh, is it Hannigan? Hannigan, isn't it? Oh, Lloyd Hannigan. Hannigan. Lloyd, Lloyd Hannigan going, over Curry. To, yeah, going yeah. over to America yeah. and ripping the title off Don Curry. Yeah. Keeps on drilling it into me. Like, Chunk, good enough. It's your time and you're going to do it. But listen, I'm because you know me. I'm confident in my ability. I know what I'm about. I know what I can do. And uh, I'm just so excited. You sound very excited. Um, Date-wise, obviously, Eddie Hearn spoke to him yesterday and he said there's a 15-day period where the date and the venue has to be announced. Um, there was talk of a potential uh, April the 24th, whether that is or not, you know, we're yet to see, but is there anything that's happened since sort of yesterday regarding no, this? The, the, I've seen things on Twitter and that's talking about they want to stick this fight on his brother's bill, which is a good idea. Like Both brothers, one defending, one's uh, boxing for a world title. That's a good idea. And that drops perfect with me as well because I've been training, I've been in camp, I've been living like a hermit for the past six weeks already. So another six weeks on, that would be perfect. 12-week camp, be lovely. But uh, I just hope it, I don't have to wait longer to like the end of May, beginning of June. I hope not. I think the latest they can do it is the 2nd of June. So Eddie Hearn thinks it's going to be end of April, beginning of May. So if that works out around that time, it's, that's, that's a perfect day for me. 
Um, are you aware of the, the network situation going on uh, in regards to, obviously, I asked Eddie Hearn yesterday uh, about, because Box Nation have been showing the premier boxing uh, champions fights, uh, which is obviously by Al Heyman, um, whether this class is under one of those fights, because they've been showing those fights. I don't know how long the deal is for, but um, there could be a situation where... I don't know. Potentially, the, we don't know what network the know, the fight could be on. Well, obviously, being a Sky Fire, please God, it's it's on that. And uh, listen, Eddie Hearn, listen, I leave that in his hands. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, I probably I hope it's not on Box Nation. I hope it's on Sky. But if it is on Box Nation, so be it. Like, but obviously, I want it to be on Sky. But uh, you you would think though that they've they were they were negotiating for three or four weeks. Yeah. You would think Al Heyman would let Sky and Eddie Hearn buy the buy buy. Yeah, buy I'm the not right sure of the situation. Yeah, the only yeah. Uh, the you only would re- think yeah, that, but you never know. In boxing, the only no. reason that the question was asked is obviously because the the NBC network, uh, the terrestrial TV network in America, the last show Box Nation show that they're showing this week's show. I don't know how long they're showing it for, and I don't know whether your fight. Okay qualifies under that at all that's that's the only reason a lot of people were asking the questions so i suppose these questions will be answered yeah. before you know yeah well hopefully it's it's much much before the 15 days eddie Allen thinks he'll know in the next five days so hopefully we'll know a lot more in the next couple of days how are you going to set out your camp well, i was talking to my mum and dad and jim about this yesterday uh I'm not too sure i've told you i've been i've been training solid living like a hermit training extremely hard for the past six weeks uh obviously i'm gonna go out there a couple of weeks before uh i've got a couple of things planned prior to that i meant to be going down i've booked a week down st george's park where uh england hold their hold their camp and train down there the facilities down there are, un- are unbelievable the staff the physios the nutritionists the everything is is all down there and they're nice. They're a nice. They're a nice group of people. So hopefully, I'll go down there. I think that's the twenty third. I'm going down there for a week just to break camp up. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes it gets a bit boring and a bit, uh, yeah, a bit boring. So uh, it's nice to break shit up. But uh, yeah, so I've got that for a week. There's even talks of going to Marbella, but I'm not too sure because obviously if it's abroad now in America, I'd have to go that. I'd have to go a couple of weeks before. So. Probably cut out the Marbella, do the do the Saint, do the Saint George's thing, and go to America two weeks before. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to see. Okay, um, I'm go- I'm gonna backtrack a little bit from obviously yesterday. Um, uh, you know, I spoke to uh, George Groves in in Berlin uh, regarding this whole situation because originally the the fight sort of everyone wanted was the you and the girl, uh, you and Groves rematch on the 25th of April. Uh, the whole person per split situation where George thinks that um, he was um, wanting of more of the, yeah, yeah. than a 50-50 split so I just wanted your yeah. side of that really there's not much to say uh, I actually lose words for the for the boy seriously uh, the guy was offered £2 million which is crazy it's crazy the guy turned it down he thinks he's worth more it's mind boggling it is it is uh, it's crazy but uh I don't care about like obviously it would have been nice for the British boxing fans for me and Groves to box for a world title but the idiot turned down two million pounds is crazy. People were like people are people don't know what he's thinking. I I think do you know what? I, I do you know what he calls me deluded and he's been calling me that for a long time, but he has lost the plot. He has lost the plot. Like we're in boxing for the big fights, the big money. Do you know what I'm saying? We're prize fighters. That would have been a massive fight, and uh, he would have earned a lot of money, but he turned it down. He believed that um, he was deserving more of a 50 yeah, 50 split. Is stupid, which but is do, you, do you believe that a 50 50 split was bang on well, fair? He's lucky I, I, he's lucky I won't ask for a 60 for week because his last two performances, he just boxed for a world title twice. He's been knocked out twice, the idiot. Asleep cold at Wembley, do you know what I'm saying? My last two performances have been against two decent opponents, one was unbeaten. One one box for a world title six months prior me, I I'm the one in form. I'm the one that people is talking about. George Groves just got obviously a bit of a name. Me, the pay per view was good, uh, done well at Wembley. But come on, let's let's be real. Like everyone knows George Groves because of me, right? Yes or no? Of course, of course it is. Because if I weren't, everyone knows George Groves and me. 
he keeps on going like, oh, you know, I'm a, I'm a better name, I'm a, I'm a better athlete than uh, the gal. Everyone knows me. Like, like, like my, like, I've been boxed at the highest level. Like, everyone knows me. I boxed at the Wembley, sold 80,000 tickets. It's me. It's me. I should get 60, 40. But well, I uh, think you both come to prominence from your first fight. That's when you really sort of got onto the stage of people really knowing who you were from your first fight. And then who's gone on? Yeah, well, you tell me. I don't know. Cause yeah, I mean, listen, he's, but listen the, yeah, I know. I know. Listen, you, George is a fan, so you should be telling me. George's, I should be telling you. I George, want you know, I, I want to hear from you, Coop. Listen, it's in. It's difficult because obviously George has boxed. Box. Man, you know your shit, so I want to know from you. George has boxed for two world titles right. since, and and obviously when you mention George Groves name, I always get mentioned, right? Yes or no? Yes, correct. So yeah, but vice, vice versa. versa. Yeah, vice of course. Versa, yeah. So you can't you can't expect more money. That's stupid. Do you know what it's called? Greedy, greediness. Sometimes you have got to strike while the iron's hot. Yeah, and the fight was there for for a world title, and he's and he's refused it. It's crazy. You see, obviously, Darrell as a far more difficult fight than George Groves, in your opinion. Of course, yeah, definitely. Darrell is a uh, tricky, awkward, uh, a very talented boxer. His skill level is very, very high, very high. Uh, a former former uh, medalist at the 2004 Olympic Games, professional record nearly perfect, apart from the one loss to. Carl Froch, which a lot of people thought he won. Uh, this guy's skilled, man. He's a good, good fight, a tricky fight, but as I say, it's one that I'm confident of winning. But it is going to be a tough, hard night's work. Another issue was the venue situation. George felt that the fight between the pair of you was bigger than something like the O2 20,000. It was more of a stadium fight. Whether it's Wembley Stadium, I don't know, but it was bigger. Do you agree with that, or does it sell 20,000 and, oh, and that's no. what... It, it could probably sell 50,000, of course. Of course, but as I said, sometimes you've got to strike with iron's hot. Maybe that, 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 situa- that scenario won't happen again. That's what I'm saying. Uh, he's going to earn a lot of money. He's going to be the O2, where he beaten me before. Perfect for him. But you turn it down. And I just sometimes wonder how his mind works. But who am I to say anything to George Groves? Hopefully you become world champion um, when your date is set. Hopefully George becomes world champion. But is a fight with Groves, if you had a world title, George doesn't have a world title, does that fight still appeal to you without him having a world title? title? And he doesn't, does the fight still appeal to you? Listen, if I'm going to earn money, yeah. yeah, why not? And if the British public want to see it, why not? But if you've both got world titles, which is oh, what he yeah, said, yeah. obviously that fight is then yeah, yeah. 100 course, times bigger maybe than... Maybe that yeah. won't happen. Yeah. Maybe that won't happen. A lot has to happen for that of to course, be in that yeah. position. So he, uh, he obviously believes in himself and he believes in me as well. Will we see the fight, in your opinion, that rematch? Will we see it? Just a final question on that. Do you think we will see it? Will we see me and Jules Grove? Eventually, yeah. yeah. But... Uh, not too sh- yeah, 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 yeah. Here we will. Okay, from a fan point of view, that's yeah. that's good to hear. Uh, uh, but I want to know <coughs> your opinion. What do you think should have happened? To be honest, listen, I listen. Your perception of that's that person, that person. Oh no, I'm going to tell you. No, hold on, let me tell you. That purse, that yeah. purse situation, etc. You may think that you're deserving of a sixty forty split. George may think he's deserving of a sixty forty split. From an outside perspective, I suppose you can look at a 50-50 split yeah. Yeah. as a fair split. I think you can look at that as a fair split. But he, he'll have arguments to counter that, and I'm sure you could have arguments to counter that as well. Yeah, but how? Well, I'm confused. How? What? Because he's, yeah, uh, he's boxed on a pay-per-view show at Wembley. That's what I'm saying. You've, you've, you said, like, you've, you could probably counter arguments why you'd be a 60 40 split if it yeah. was that. Yeah. And, he, and he has as well. So, right. But to, from an outside perspective, if someone said, look, it's a 50 50 split between George and, and James, I think I'd say, well, that seems fair. fair yeah, that yeah, seems yeah, fair. Yeah, but yeah. anyway, moving on from that. Um, have you, obviously, is Carl Frost somewhere in, in the pipeline? And, in your head somewhere? I go out to America and I win my world title. I come back. That's, that's still a massive fight. Uh, but I didn't realise. He's nearly 38. He's getting on. He's getting on. But he lives the life. So I'm saying? He lives the life. Uh, he lives well. He's always in the gym. Or he's training. So, uh, yeah. Down the line at the end of the year. Beginning of the next year. But you know what? I don't want to look too far ahead. Yeah, of course. But obviously, yeah. obviously I, win, I win this world title. 
there's some massive fights there's some good money to be earned and uh yeah so uh <laughs> yeah look, I, no, listen, uh, I i'm only yeah. just asking you about fronts because i'm you know no, I'm a, yeah, yeah. yeah like, well listen that's good. before last year this was Course, what we course. thought was going to happen, you and Froch, yeah. yeah. you know, vacated the title and then things moved on from there. Um, but you seem happy, you genuinely seem happy. I spoke to you on the phone yesterday and you don't seem, like I said, you I said you, if you can beat him in the O2, you yeah. can beat him in America. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, like, this, 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 this is a tricky fight, Coops. It is. It is a tricky fight, but one that I'm very confident of winning and, uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to it. Do you know, it just feels like I can't... I, I, I wish it was next week or in a couple of weeks' time. I just want to know. I just want to know. I just want to know the date. I want to know. I just want to get out there like, and get in there. I just want to fight. I've been training for six weeks already. I like, live in like a hermit twice a day, weekends off. Like, just, just on it. Ain't been doing nothing. Ain't, ain't, ain't really had a social life. Which don't bother me anyway, but uh, you ain't got a social life anyway, have you? Oh, thanks. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I'll matter. never see you out anymore. <laughs> I ain't seen you out for ages. <laughs> no, last <it's> Friday. <laughs> never. <laughs> oh, hey, I'd like me see you. I'm sure joking. You weren't out last Friday. <laughs> Saturday he was out. <laughs> and Sunday. <laughs> and Sunday. <laughs> Joke. Uh, but uh, no, yeah. Listen, as 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 Jim says, like when you live like that, it gives you that edge, don't it? And it does. It does give you that edge when you sacrifice. Certain things, food, women, sex, uh, going out with your friends, socialising, uh, get that edge. I'm feeling that edge already, trust me. I'm feeling it, I'm eager. It's good, it's good. All right, last thing, the last, last thing I'm going to ask you about, uh, Mayweather Pacquiao, everyone's obviously it's taken over the internet, well, they've got a press conference yeah. today actually, uh, May the 2nd in Las Vegas. I hope you've got some uh, bits and pieces from the... Uh, we're trying. We're yeah. going to try. We're going to try. By any means necessary, we're going to try. But uh, you excited about that fight? I am very excited. Uh, it's another fight. Uh, it, f- it feels like it should have happened a couple of years ago when they're in their prime. Once again, they're getting they're getting older. Uh, they're not getting any better. But uh, an intriguing fight and a fight that everyone wants to see. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Obviously, I'm a Mayweather man. I think he's an unbelievable fighter. I don't think I think he's going to retire undefeated so yeah I'm looking forward to it alright well listen Chunky thank you very much for talking to uh, IFL TV yeah. uh, you were two hours late today uh, it's your fault is it yeah, it's your fault you come too early why on earth was you here at one o'clock I know alright you was an hour late then alright well listen uh We'll obviously keep posting on news of a date venue, yeah. and then I suppose. I hope I hope you're coming to America, you or James. One, listen, one. I can promise you that one or me or James will be at your fight. So IFL TV will be at the fight. So we've got a couple of other fights to divvy around us. So. But I know, but I know, I'm your favourite. I know you'll, you you will try your best to get there. One of us will be there, James. One of us will be there. We could not be there. All right. Well, listen, James Segal, thanks for talking to IFL TV. Uh, best of luck with the rest of your camp, and uh, hopefully we'll catch up with you, like I said, yeah. at a later date. Yeah, wicked, wicked, right. wicked, wicked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, All right. right. Thank you very much.